Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at installing Unreal Engine on a Macintosh. We're used to seeing Unreal on a PC, but on a Mac it can be used for stylized animation, pre-visualization, motion graphics, and of course developing for Mac OS and iOS. Uh, here's a quick look at the specifications on the Mac that I'm using. It is a M2 MacBook Air. I do recommend at least an M2 chip for your Mac for this. And now we can move on to installation. So just hitting command space opens up our search and I'm going to start by going into the App Store. Now we're going in here not for anything from Epic but rather to get Xcode from Apple. So enter Xcode into the search and then go ahead and get and install Xcode. This is a free install from Apple. Xcode is Apple's development tool for the Mac. You will not be needing to actually do any development or use of Xcode. However, Unreal Engine can only run on a Mac after you've installed and accepted the license for Xcode. So once the install is complete, be sure to click Open, Running Xcode, and accept the license agreement before moving on. Once you've accepted the license agreement, you can quit from Xcode as well as from the App Store. And then we're ready to move on to start installing Epic's tools. The first thing to set up with Epic is a free account using an email. You can click on the sign in button to open up the sign in window. And if you don't have an account already, you can scroll to the bottom and use the create account button. I'm just going to go ahead and add my credentials to log in. Once I'm logged in, I can click the download button and this is going to download the installer for the Epic launcher. Once that DMG is loaded in, I can open it up, drag the Epic games launcher over to applications. Once the launcher is copied, I can use command space to type in Epic and fire up the Epic launcher. Since this is the first time we're running the launcher, we'll need to give it permission to run. And then it's going to download and install some updates for itself. Once these are finished, we can use command space to fire up that launcher again. You'll be prompted to log in with your Epic account and then land on this Epic Games page inside launcher. Instead of games, we want to work with Unreal Engine. So we'll click on the Unreal Engine page. And if we want to avoid going into the game page in the future, we can click on the settings button, check on the hide games library, accept that change. And from now on, after we exit settings, we'll always land on this Unreal Engine page instead of the games page. Moving on, we'll click on the library tab. Here, we can either click install engine or use this plus button and then click install to get to our installation options. I'm going to accept the default installation paths but before I click the install button, I want to go to options. This will give me the opportunity to choose which parts of Unreal get installed, and I'm going to uncheck engine source. This should save us about 340 megs of installation files. And so with that set, I'll leave everything else by default and click apply. Finally, hitting install will begin the installation process. To get a more detailed view of what's going on during the installation, I can go here to the downloads button in the lower left hand corner. This will give me a more detailed set of indications as to what's going on during the installation process. My installation took about 20 minutes. Once it's completed, I'm going to hide the downloads tasks window and launch Unreal Engine for the first time. You can expect Unreal Engine to take several minutes to launch. It will also ask for permission for network connections. I'm going to go ahead and allow that. And finally, you'll land on this window where you can create your first Unreal Engine project. Since I work in virtual production, I'm going to go ahead and click on Film, Video, and Live Events. Except the blank project, I'll keep the defaults of no starter content and no ray tracing. And I'll also keep the default location and default project name of my project. At this point, I'm ready to click Create. Unreal is going to take about a minute or so to build out the first project for you, and then you'll land on this blank level. Don't worry about any of the windows that appear in this lower right hand corner. You can go ahead and click dismiss and update. So now that we have our project, let's see if we can optimize performance. First, I'm going to this upper left hand menu and choosing show frames per second or FPS. And I can see that I'm only getting around 20, 21 frames per second. Not too good. So I'm going to go to settings. Choose engine scalability settings and switch from epic to low. But before I leave, I want to improve the settings for two values, post processing and shadows. This should give us a good trade off between image quality and performance on this Mac Air. 
and you can see now I'm getting about 30 frames a second. So that's all for the setup for now. In our next video, we'll take a look at installing our first scenery. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.